So Jamaica was moved to a state of shock as news released of the passing of Karen Smith, the woman with the smile, the charm, but most of all, the voice. Chairman of the Jamaica Association of Vintage Artists and Affiliates and founding member of Fabulous Five, Frank Campbell, joins us now to reflect on the, the life and the work of our Jamaican songbird. My good friend, morning, welcome. How are you? Yeah, I'm here. All, all is, right. All is well? Well, uh, not really, but um, we're coping. Um, all, all, not really well in industry, as you know, we're locked down, so we're not working, but we're coping. Yeah, good to see you again, because uh, we saw each other a couple of days ago, didn't we? Um, whew, what went through your mind when you heard of uh, Karen's passing? Devastating. Um, Karen was a special person. We have been losing quite a bit of our entertainers over the last two years, especially. You know, you know, never have lost over over 100 entertainers in the last two and a half, three years. Um, that's a lot. Not necessarily all to COVID or any, or you know, a lot to COVID, but we have lost a lot. But when we got the news about Karen, it was really devastating. Karen was a special person. Um, Jack, 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 her husband really gave us a heads up. We in the industry, we heard about her illness. She got ill, as you know, she got sick last year, September, one year ago. Um, so we, we, we were hoping and praying that, you know, she would recover. But last week, Jackie gave us a heads up and said, listen, prepare yourselves for the world. So even though we were prepared, uh, it was still shocking because Karen was a special person. Karen was does not any of your normal everyday singer. She was one of the most, you know, loving persons you could ever meet. You know, every time Karen came to a rehearsal, it was a special, she never, she never ever got jaded. I don't understand, most of us in, in the entertainment industry, after a while, you know, sometimes we get jaded, you know, same things over and over, same places you're performing. Karen was always bubbly. She, she comes to rehearsal and she's just bubbly when she came to rehearsals. And um, during the performance, is the same. And he just wanted what drew of Karen to be so sort of loving, you know, adorable performer all these years. But that's what she was. She never, ever changed. Every time she came on stage and sat out pop five, she said, oh, she felt so good performing with us. And that's what she did with most of the bands who, who played for her. And it made you feel so good. In rehearsals, she was willing to work. Work if you made suggestions. She would go along with it. You know, even if you suggested her and do this song, she did. She went along with it. She was really fan, a fantastic person. Yeah. But, you um, know, after, after I met her all the way back in 1972 when she was in the first summer St. Hughes. We went to St. Hughes and we did a concert, and that's when we met Karen first. All these years, fantastic. How, how, how many times uh, would she have uh, worked with Fab Five? Oh, my God. Um, I suppose over the last 30 something years, certainly hundreds. You know, quite a few hundred, because Karen was one of the hardest working performers in Jamaica. Not just Jamaica, but she traveled a lot. And um, we do a lot of shows. Now, Karen, you remember Karen did a lot of um, corporate events. She did a lot of government shows. Um, she was a rounded performer. She was, she was versatile. So you'll see Karen on a jazz show. You'll see her on a, on a middle of the road show. Even gospel shows you'll see Karen on. Karen was one of those performers who to perform on many, many different kinds of events. Many performers, you know, they are stick, you know, you have a dance hall artist or you have a reggae artist, they stick to that, you know, genre. But Karen, she was very versatile. Tell me very, about very, tell me about her quality, um, her voice uh, as a performer. Man. Yeah man, excellent quality. From in from when she was in the first song we saw something special. She she was was the one who reminded me later on. Um, you know, and even Earlier, when she was at the bank, Peter Ashburn discovered her and he started to use her on a lot of jingles. I'm sure you remember the Grace Cox Soup jingle that they did. That was played up to the other day. And um, he even produced this fantastic song, um, Wings of Hope, um, in 1992, um, that he did for the Barcelona Olympics the Jamaican team. You know, um, but, but fantastic voice and, and a very, very, a very great performer. You know, um, she would work, work the stage, work the audience. I uh, couldn't help but, but just love her. You know, the audience is always felt because she was honest, she was genuine, and she gave her best every time. 
you know, with a remarkable voice. Yeah. You, you've, been a lot. you've said so many things about her. Um, what would you remember um, when you think back? What will you, or, you know, what will you remember? Her, her, her bubbly, lovable um, character on stage. Um, she, was, she was always, I don't know, not, not, not all of us, not, not many of us rather, are like that. You know, and even when she joined the group that's just on stage, you know, package, you know, it, the group was formed just to um, have some fun. All three of them were, were popular entertainers, Gemma, um, Patricia Edwards from Ebony and herself. And when she came to Rosa, she was so enthusiastic because it was the first time she was joining a group. She was always a solo singer all these years. But she gave it, to, gave it all she had and, and had a fantastic time. They were only five years old, that group. And of course, they still had their own, you know, careers. But um, every time Karen came on stage, she lit up the stage, lit up the entire ballroom or the entire hall or the entire, wherever she was performing. She was just a source of light, a source of enjoyment, a source of fun. And we remember her totally, we'll never forget Karen. Just for that, her singing the songs she chose. Not many people are singing those kind of songs. It's really great classics, it's jazz classics. You know, the pop standards and of course all the reggae songs that she sang. Um, so remember, I remember until I died. I mean, Karen was really a special person. I'm sorry, my friend. Thank you so much for sharing all of that with us this morning. And thank you for speaking with us. Stay safe. Look after yourself. God bless you. Thank you. Just before I leave, uh, condolences to our family, mom, Courtney, Jackie, coming from Jav, and of course all our friends and of course our fans worldwide. Thank you. He's the chairman of the Jamaica Association of Vintage Artists and Affiliates and founding member of the Fab Five group, uh, Frank Campbell. Of course, Karen Smith was no stranger to the smile stage. So let's head to the vault for a reminder why she was called the Jamaican Songbird. <laughs> Sing it for you. Oh, it's a 
sweet sensation. 